Hi, my name is Jason Horner and I'm an organic grower living in the Midwest of Ireland. I grow vegetables for the local farmers market. I'm going to give a bit of a background on how a group of us started a seed growers network five years ago and how this fits in with my current business and how you or others might replicate it or do something similar. The story starts in late 2010 at the Irish Seed Savers Association site in County Clare, near where I live. Matthew Dillon, who was the founding director of the Organic Seed Alliance in the United States, was there to give a talk to a group of growers and seed savers entitled Creating Community Seed Systems. Matthew's story was that he had been working with Abundant Life Seeds and they had had a fire which had destroyed not only their seeds but also all the notes that went with them. It was an event which led to the launch of the Organic Seed Alliance as a separate non-profit organisation to, to support the growing organic seed movement. Their, their ethos was the dissemination of the knowledge of seeds rather than collecting of seeds and knowledge in a single place. At the end of the event, the discussion amongst those present focused on the idea that starting a seed growers network would be, very, would be a very useful addition to the Irish seed savers. Matthew had made some points in his talk, and from my original notes, the following, the following was some of the things he was advocating. Diversity and, diversity and access to appropriate varieties, support, research, education and conveners, roles and rights protected and valued, payment for seeds, mentoring and advocacy work, farmer to farmer training, participatory breeding methods and family stroke farmer owned seed co-ops. He also talked about engaging the next generation of seed savers. Perhaps this is you. Things moved quickly from there, and the following spring, with the backing of the Organic Growers of Ireland and the expertise of the Irish Seed Savers Association, we were looking for funding for an education programme aimed at growers. This was duly secured from the local EU leader company, and we were on our way. The Irish Seed Savers set up the education program comprising five workshops and a field trip over the course of a 12 month period. The response to this was very good and there were 40 people at the first workshop. The workshops covered some plant biology, theory and practice of seed production, harvesting from overwinter crops and maintenance of spring sown crops, drying, threshing, cleaning and storing summer seed crops and selection of biennial seed crops. When everyone had completed the programme it made sense to continue working as a group and to try and establish our seed growers network. We now meet twice yearly, once at the end of the season, November time, to discuss the season and hand in seeds. Also once in late January, early February to collect seed for the year ahead and a lot crops to be grown. The network has grown organically. There was no set agenda, time, time scale, or big plan. We have been doing this since 2011 and gradually finding our feet, learning new skills and becoming more proficient. Last year, 2014, was the first year that some growers got paid for their seeds. The Irish Seed Savers have always had seed guardians who undertook to grow out seed crops. The network has taken this a step forward, making a bigger commitment, growing more varieties on a bigger scale. ISA need people to be able to grow seeds for them because on one side there are issues with cross-pollination and also with bulking up some crops. The next challenge is to find varieties that growers are happy to use on a commercial basis in larger quantity, quantities than have usually been available from ISA. I currently grow veg on 15,000 square feet under cover and about the same outside. Having learned to grow a number of different crops over the years, 
I now set aside a 1,000 square foot tunnel each year exclusively for seed saving. Last year I saved seed from climbing French beans, four tomato varieties, broad beans, beetroot and red peppers all under cover and calabrese and kale outside. The trick is to be well organised from the start in relation to fertility, weed control and watering. Observation, as in any veg crop, is critical. Contrary to growing crops for market, seed crops don't have the same pressure of harvest. There is more of a window for this and it usually fits in with when things are quietening down on the market side of things. However, harvesting seeds can be time consuming and attention to detail is still important. It was a natural progression for me to start saving seeds. I left college as a chef in the late 80s and started growing veg commercially in the early 90s. Going back down the seed, going back down the chain, seed saving is right at the start. It took me a long time to see its importance. Then one day I just got it. Can't say exactly what prompted this. Ask yourself this question. What happens if I can't get seeds on the internet delivered in the post? I get great satisfaction from seed saving. The reward is the quality of the seed and the knowledge that potentially a lot of people will benefit from it. Another motivator to save seed was the quality I could buy and the poor maintenance of varieties by some seed companies. My advice to anyone interested in giving it a go would be to try a couple of different varieties and take it from there. When you get good, if you're growing vegetables as well, maybe 8 to 10 varieties will be a maximum number for each year. Always be on the lookout for good new varieties that work for you. You can also grow vegetables for sale and make a selection of the best for seed saving and sell all the rest. You should also try and do some parallel planting with two different varieties of the same vegetable. You may find a variety that's better than your trusted variety. I assure you, they're out there. Share your knowledge with other growers. This can be very enjoyable and educational. Many of us have, many of us have never seen the full life cycle of the vegetables we've been growing all these years. Seeds are about stories, about people, taste and beauty in nature. They speak to us about diversity, resilience and hope for the future something that we can all do with in these current times. I hope you found this talk useful and that you enjoy the rest of the conference. If you'd like to contact me, use one of the contacts on the last slide. Thank you.